Hello everyone, uh, welcome back to the channel. I'm Peter and this is Precious. Uh, based on our last video, um, we decided to do a follow-up on uh, an in-depth review of the CRS tool. Uh, CRS stands for the Comprehensive Ranking System. So today Precious is going to be taking us through um, how different criteria affect your CRS score. Um, and we're going to be switching things up just so you see how certain factors would increase or decrease your score. Uh, if you're new to the channel, uh, we started this um, playlist from how to apply for your Canadian permanent residency a few days ago. Um, you could go back and watch that video or you could um, just continue from here. Uh, so for now, I'll just leave it to Precious to take us through the various scenarios about the CRS tool and how it affects your score. So you just want to um, go to your search bar and just type in CRS tool. This would come up with like um, some results. Just pick the very first one like I have picked. And then uh, like I said in my previous video that you basically want to use this to calculate your score um, just to see if you are eligible. So use this tool if you're eligible for at least one express entry program. So you're going to start with um, filling in the information. So you can see I'm just putting in my marital status. Um, so if you're single, you put that. Um, you put how old you are. Um, so I'm just going to do that here. And then here, um, your level of education, like, you know, we spoke about that in the last video. So we spoke about the level of education you have. So the higher your um, degree, the better your chances or like the higher your points would be. So I'm just going to pick the um, two or more degrees, um, like a master's degree as well. And then there's a question, um, have you earned a Canadian degree or diploma? So I'll just say no because I haven't. But if you have, you can say yes. Um, that would give you more points. Okay, so here we have the official languages. Canada's official languages are English and French. Um, you need to submit language test results that are less than two years old for all programs on the express entry, even if English or French is your first language. So um, I'm just going to say, are your test results less than two years old? So I picked yes. And which language did I pick? Um, IELTS. Okay, so I'm just going to select my um, the, the score I got for each category for speaking, the listening, the reading, and the writing. Um, like I said, the higher your score, the better your chances, the higher your points. Um, do you have any other language results? I just said no because I don't have any other one. Um, work experience in the last 10 years, how many years of skilled work experience in Canada do you have? So I don't have any, so I'll just say none or less than a year. Um, in the last 10 years, how many total years of foreign work experience do you have? I'm just going to say three or more because like um, from Nigeria, I have three or more um, years of work experience. Okay, so this one I just said, no, I don't have a certificate of nomination from a province or territory. Um, this one, they're just asking if you or your spouse have like um, siblings in Canada or family members. So I'm just going to pick um, no, um, and then I'll just click on calculate your score. Uh, you can look at the results. Um, there's a breakdown of um, what each category, um, what points each category gave you. So you can see the subtotal right now is 369. Um, spouse factors, I had zero in those ones. Um, the, the total score would be at the bottom. Just This is what you're looking for, 469. Um, that's my score based on this. Um, so basically, if I, I'm just going to go around and change this. So do you have siblings in Canada? I'm going to put yes and my points would definitely change so from 469 it's come up to 484 that's how it impacts so additional 15 points down here that's how like different um, factors give you points okay so if i go up again and i just adjust a couple of um, answers so do i have a nomination certificate from the province if i pick that to be yes you would see that my score would change from 484 to now 1069 
that's how like <laughs> that's a lot of points right like uh, the provincial nomination it's, it's it's a lot of points so I would go again I'll change that to no and then I would go ahead and just adjust my um, IELTS um, results like the, the scores I had okay so I'm just gonna reduce the um, speaking um, score and then click on calculate your score and then you see how the scores like the score reduces drastically so it's now it's 426 I'll just go back and put it back to 7 and then click on calculate your score and then it's back to 484 right Okay, so here I'm just going to reduce the score um, from the writing and then I'll just click on calculate your score. This should reduce the score and this has taken it down to 426. Okay, so I'm just going to go back to my test results again and then I'm going to adjust the, um, put back the, the writing to where it was and then put it back to calculate your score and then that should bring me back to 484 okay so I'm just going to calculate um, change my level of education to two or more certificates this would reduce my score as well just because it's below the um, master's degree so yeah it's 477 so from 484 it's come down to 477 And then I'm just going to put it to the PhD. That's the highest level of education we have there. Calculate your score. It should be higher than 484. So it's 499. I'll change this to no. Sibling in Canada to no. So it's back to 484. Okay, so here I'm just going to change the work experience um, in Canada and I'm going to put one year there and you will see as well that should affect the score so now it's 524 so extra points so I'll change my foreign skilled work experience to none or less than a year that would reduce the score so now it's 474 then I have siblings in Canada, calculate 489. This I'm just playing around with that just to show you guys how like um, different factors can affect your score. So 489 now. Okay, then I'm just going to the age field and I'm going to increase my age. So right now, remember it's 489, so I'm just going to put that um, 30 years of age and I'll go back to calculate your score and that should reduce the score. Okay, so it's reduced the score by 5 points, so right now it's 484. Thing is, the older you are after 30, your score would reduce. So right now, let's see, um, 31 years of age. So from 484, um, this would reduce to... Uh, I don't think I clicked that. So from 484, this would reduce to 478. So it's reducing by about 5 points. So if I change the age again to 32, you would see that it would drop again by about 5 points. So um, once you clock 30, right, with each year, um, your points would start to drop. So by 5 points. If you notice, the last one was 478, so now it's dropped to 473. Uh, I'm just going to change my marital status to married. Um, is your spouse a permanent resident of Canada? No. Will your spouse be coming to, with you? I'll just say yes. Um, then I'll change the, the, bachelor, the degree to two or more certificates. And then have I earned a Canadian degree? I'll just say yes, I've earned a Canadian degree. And then which degree did I earn? I'll just pick like a, the degree diploma or certificate like masters. And then my work experience, my foreign work experience, I'm just going to change that from none 
or less than a year then I'll change that to three years or more okay so because I added a spouse there's a question for my spouse so um, how many um, what's the highest level of education for my spouse so I'm just going to pick the bachelor's degree for my spouse okay in the last 10 years how many years of skilled work experience in Canada does your spouse have so I'm just clicking none or less than a year Did your spouse or common law partner take a language test so I just picked non, -ap non not applicable and I clicked on calculate score so right now you can see it's 508 so you can see I was playing around with the um, with comprehensive ranking system too so the CRS too and you like from the video you could see how the different factors that I would adjust adjusted the scores as well so um, having siblings in Canada definitely gives you more points having um, more work experience definitely gives you more points if you have like um, the higher your degree the higher your point you get and also like I tried to explain in the video that um, once you get to 30 your scores will start to decrease by five points so every year for example i'm just going to so if you're 31 this year so your score would reduce with all the same factors from last year your score would reduce by five points this year 32 next year your score would reduce by five points and that's how it goes like even if you don't adjust the factor other factors just the age alone once you get to 30 would adjust your score right so um if there's anything specific or anything in particular you would like for us to talk about you can just leave that in the comment section and then we can review it so we'll see you in our next video bye